correct. And as we have seen, that assumption has proven false. So how do we move forward with a different plan? It's another point about Russians. I think that, uh, and Europeans, uh, especially our German colleagues, who were saying that Nord Stream 2 is a commercial project and that Russia not using energy as a weapon. Now I think that there is consensus for everybody that Russia used before and will use energy as a weapon. And now the question how Europe could defend themselves against of this weapon. I am not asking, or our country not asking, to stop buying Russian gas from tomorrow. What is, what is realistic is to have the same position as the United States and, and the UK on Russian oil. And it is feasible, especially from this region, if Europe will be active in finding alternative supply of Russian oil. But Russian gas, what we need is very clear roadmap and commitment from, from Europe how the share of Russian natural gas in Europe will be lowered to minimum level. And as I said, this is partly the question about transportation. As soon as we know how much gas uh, Europe will be taking in the future, then we can answer question what will happen with uh, Ukrainian gas transportation system. We can survive without transmitting this Russian gas through our system. We will use it for, for our storage capacities. We will use it for our domestic needs. And basically, that's not a matter for us now about revenue we get in for, for uh, tra transiting Russian, Russian gas. What is really important is to have very clear strategy for Europe. And I hope that Ukraine will be part of this strategy of diversification of energy sources, including Russian gas.